prison is confining. How do I know? I was an inmate for seven years. It is a monochromatic landscape of gray and brown with slashes of orange that the inmates wear for security. It's easier to see us in the dark. Besides the normal challenges, I lost all my hair while I was battling breast cancer through chemotherapy. I know orange is the new black, but honestly, I hate orange. <laughs> Wouldn't be caught dead in it. In the midst of this landscape, I was allowed to create a life skills course with tools for living, and each section ignited a spirit in the inmates of their creativity that was unknown before. Can you imagine a world without art in this environment? I, suddenly, you see the cave paintings of Rousseau. You feel like you're living in a cave, and then you learn that 17,000 years ago, a human being created this on the walls. They were moved to do this. So fast forward 17,000 years behind the wires, and Valerie misses nature and animals. And she, too, is moved to create this, not on her wall, but on a canvas. It's a direct link with that previous 17,000 years ago artist. Renoir is known for his female forms and his lush colors. And when Marla saw this, she said, I feel feminine again. You can almost touch the silk and smell the perfume, which are both forbidden to inmates. Valerie created this amazing color. You can feel the texture, can't you, as the color jumps out at you? This was a direct rebellion against that monochromatic world in which she lives. Then we come to Van Gogh. The deep, swirling colors and the story of his madness are visceral to inmates. They, because of our budget cuts, our prisons house way too many people with mental illness that should be in treatment. And inmates are moved to copy this, and they paint with everything. They paint with toothpaste and hair grease and melted candy. But if you use something that is not intended for its original purpose, it can be confiscated. Eat that candy. Don't paint with it. Picasso's Guernica is a symbol of war and peace. And when inmates hear the horror of this story, they are moved to tears. They relate to this black and white and the sharp angles because it's where they live. Aren't the Twin Towers another symbol of war and peace? Will you ever forget where you were that day? Inmates are citizens too, and they cried with the rest of America when this happened. Look at the swirling faces in the smoke and remember. Ah, oh, Dolly's melted clocks. Because of our mandatory minimum laws, our sentences are very long. Donna got eight and a half years for stealing a $17 carton of cigarettes. Three strikes, she's out. Melted. In prison, time is really boring, and boring leads to mind mush, and it leads to failure, and, but inmates say that art jumpstarts the imagination and focuses the mind. It's a wonderful outlet. When women in prison see this beautiful painting, they are reminded of what they're missing. They're missing birthdays and graduations and weddings and new grandchildren. They miss their children most of all. When Denise started painting in prison, she was kind of basic with her stuff, but then look what she's creating now. She misses her daughter desperately, and this is a reflection of that gentle love and tenderness. I think it's beautiful. Finally, we come to Cezanne's still life. He was an experiment in Impressionism, and you know this is fruit, but it's kind of flat. Remember Renoir? What do you think an inmate would do with a still life? No fruit to look at. Well, when I saw this one, I, it blew me away. Oh, I missed lemon so much. The smell and the taste of a lemon is brilliant. I promise you that Larry did not have any lemons to look at when he was painting this. But when life hands you lemons... Gina's team is named after Gina Panetta, who was my roommate in prison and died there at age 25. Our group brings educational programs behind the wires because we believe in education. 93% of all inmates are released back into the community, but we know education is the cheapest form of crime prevention. With education it, and art, it gives the inmates a connection to the community and to the world. I found my passion in prison, and I live my motto, been there, done that, 
Now, how can I help? Find your passion, live the motto, join the team, save lives, and change the world.